Mounts are arguably one of the most useful parts of Terraria, with them having features like auto-attacking enemies, damage boosting in certain situations, and most importantly, allowing you to fly infinitely. But figuring out what all of those mounts do and how to get them isn't always the easiest thing to do, which is why I'll be going over every mount in Terraria for this video. Starting off with the pre-hard mode mounts you can get on any game mode, we have the Slime Mount, which is a 25% drop from King Slime. This mount can jump up to 42 blocks high, and can reach a speed of 21 normally, but it can get up to 102 when falling, which is one of the fastest speeds you can get on a mount. Besides its jump height and speed though, this is also one of the few mounts that can deal damage to enemies, which makes it just a tad more useful than a normal mount. Next, we have the Royal, Black, and Dusty Saddle mounts, which can each be bought from the Zoologist for 25 gold each after completing 30% of your bestiary. Besides each of them all being obtained the same same way, they also all have the same stats as well, with them being able to jump up to 12 blocks high, reach a speed of 46, and they can all deal damage to enemies when you're going full speed. Sticking with mounts you can get from the Zoologist, we have the Flamingo Mount, which can jump up to 15 blocks high, reach a max speed of 31, give you a small fishing boost, and can be bought from the Zoologist for 20 gold after completing 25% of your bestiary. Next up, we have the Pogo Stick, which can jump up to 20 blocks high, can reach a max speed of 29 and can be bought from the party girl. After that, we have the bunny mount, which can jump up to 12 blocks high, reach a max speed of 39, will cancel all fall damage, and is the reward you get from the angler after finishing the fifth fishing quest. Speaking of fishing, there are two different mounts you can only get from fishing crates, starting with the turtle mount. This mount can jump up to 4 blocks high, reach a max speed of 10 on land and 36 underwater, and has an 8% chance to drop from golden and titanium crates. The other crate mount is the Lava Shark, which can jump up to 2 blocks, reach a max speed of 10 on land and 73 while in lava, and has a 19% chance to drop from Obsidian and Hellstone crates. Getting back to the mounts you can buy from NPCs, we have the Golf Cart, which can jump up to 28 blocks high, reach a max speed of 4, deal summoning damage to enemies, and is available to purchase from the Golfer after defeating Skeletron and getting a score of at least 2,000 in the Golf minigame. And finally, for the last pre-hard mode mount, we have the B, which can fly up to 654 blocks high, reach a max speed of 31 while flying, and has a 5% chance to drop from Queen B. Next, let's go over all of the mounts that you can get in hard mode in any game mode, starting with the Pet Wolf. This mount can jump up to 30 blocks, reach a max speed of 49, and normally has a 3.33% chance to drop from wolves. But here's a little trick that you can do to always spawn with it. If you make a journey mode character with the name Wolf Pet, once you get into a world, you will find the mount item in your inventory without having to get lucky with wolves. After that, we have the Basilisk mount, which can jump up to 28 blocks has a max speed of 28, has a double jump, can deal summoning damage to enemies, and has a 2% chance to drop from basilisks. Next, we have the Unicorn Mount, which can jump up to 48 blocks high with a double jump, reach a max speed of 61, can deal summoning damage to enemies while going at full speed, and has a 2.5% chance to drop from unicorns. Up next, we have the Pigron Mount, which can fly up to 218 blocks high, reach a max speed of 46, and can be fished up while fishing in an underground evil biome. After that, we have Rudolph, which can fly up to 582 blocks, reach a max speed of 61, and has a 0.8% chance to drop from the Ice Queen. Up next, we have the Scutlix, which can jump up to 40 blocks high, reach a max speed of 41, can auto-shoot enemies with a laser, and has a 3.33% chance to drop from Scutlix gunners in the Martian Madness invasion. After that, we have the UFO, which can fly infinitely, has a max speed of 58 while going diagonally, and has a 16.66% chance to drop from the Martian saucers. Up next, we have the fastest mounts in the game, the Winged Slime, which can jump up to 100 146 blocks high, can reach a max speed of 102 while falling and 33 on the ground, can deal summoning damage to enemies by jumping on them, can float in the air by pressing down and jump at the same time, and has a 25% chance to drop from Queen Slime. And finally, for the last mount in this section, we have the Drill Mount, which can infinitely fly, can reach a max speed of 51 while going diagonally, can mine blocks for you extremely fast, and is crafted at a hard mode anvil using 40 of every bar I have on screen now which can only be done after beating Moonlord.
Now that we got all the normal mounts covered, let's go over the mounts you can only get in certain game modes, starting with Expert Mode. Up first, we have arguably one of the best mounts in the game, the Witch's Broom, which can fly infinitely, reach a max speed of 62 while going diagonally, and has a 5 to 20% chance to drop from the Morning Tree. And for the only other Expert Mode exclusive mount, we have the Cute Fishron mount, which is again considered to be one of the best mounts in the game. Cute Fishron will always drop from Duke Fishron, can infinitely fly, give you a damage bonus while underwater, and has a few different speed options, with it being able to reach a max speed of 82 when underwater or in rain, or 67 when your health is below 50%. And finally, for the last section of this video, let's go over all of the mounts that you can only get in Master Mode, starting with the Book Mount. This has a 25% chance to drop from the Dark Mage during the Old One's Army Invasion, and can fly 8 blocks high for 5 seconds, and has a max speed of 41. Next, we have the Goat Mount, which has a 25% chance to drop from the Wall of Flesh, can jump up to 39 blocks high with a max speed of 61, and can deal summoning damage by running into enemies at full speed. After that, we have the Pirate Ship, which has a 25% chance to drop from the Flying Dutchman, can infinitely fly, can reach a max speed of 54 while going diagonally, and can deal summoning damage by flying into enemies at full speed. Next, we have the Tree Mount, which can't jump, but can reach a max speed of 98 after only 0.5 seconds, and has between a 6 and 25% chance to drop from the Morning Tree. And finally, for the last mount in the entire game, we have the Santa Tank Mount which can jump up to 12 blocks with a max speed of 41, will automatically shoot at enemies, and has between a 6 to 25% chance to drop from the Santa NK1 enemies in the Frostmoon event. That wraps up this video, going over all of the mounts in Terraria. If you want to see how to get every pet in Terraria, that'll be on screen right now! And like always, make sure to have a wonderful day!